Hey there, YouTube. Today is Saturday, the 20th of March, uh, 2021. Uh, about 2.50, about 2.38, I believe, in the afternoon. And uh, today's the first day of spring. Hopefully you can hear me through this, through this wind here. And where we are at, it's a very, very special spot in Texas history. You see this says Texas Highway Department, 1936. Well, here's what we're looking at. You see this right here? If you'll pause that and want to read that. A mile and a half from here, the first shot for the Texas Revolution was fired right there. So, we're within a mile and a half of truly holy ground of where the Texas freedom actually started. Now, let's start right here. Sorry, we got a lot of road noise. I'm right beside a road. I'll show it to you in a minute. But anyway, down there is a big marker that shows it. Now you can see. Let's just let's just start over here. Here's the first shot. So you can take and read that. Pause this, and you can see that not far from this spot, I'll cover anything that makes the government attempt to take back the small cannon from Texas colonists, and they said no. And there is a replica of that cannon right there okay so now what we'll do is we'll go back behind us i'll kind of crisscross back and forth and you can see the texians at the battle as you can see only 18 men remained in gonzalez on september 25th of 1835 uh but you can go ahead and, and pause all that here I'll, I'll do that for you so you can pause that and read it there and here is the names of all these people if you want to pause this and read these names here you certainly can I'll get you this last row here okay so now I'll come back I'll just come to the sign to the right of that you can see here here's the spirit of independence so you can pause this and read all of this here and so you can see, as it says, just 202 days after the skirmishes at Gonzales, the Texians won at San Jacinto, and Texas was independent. And again, there's that uh, replica of that cannon there. All right, let's go back across, and you can see this one here. It says, Shots in Time. So you can see that the, the original cannon actually was found and is in the museum here. And uh, I think that's probably what this is talking about. Uh yeah it, it looks like it yeah so if you read this you'll see that, that that cannon that those mexicans came after uh where they started the flag that said come and take it this is where all that started so here you go this is this is where where it uh, happened and so you can see here that the school children of gonzalez in 1903 actually erected this monument so uh what a what a very generous thing they did and then the last sign on this section, you see the enduring memory right there. And so you can pause this again and read it. But uh, you can see it's talking about a postcard and different things. But what a what a place. There's a couple more things for us to look at after this. But you see this monument and this thing must be, wow, I don't know, 12, 14 feet tall, maybe 15 feet tall when you go to the very very top up there but uh boy it's it's lifelike so you can see that this is a representation of the men there that fired that cannon and uh and these couple ladies on either side uh let's see so right here let me get you this and i'll get you as close as i can you can pause that and read that but as it says down there, the shot started the revolution was directly responsible for adding more territory to the United States as acquired by freeing of the original 13 colonies from England. So, like I said, this is a, uh, a very historic place. Let me show you There's a little bit of rock path there. Right back there is where we started with the signs. And then that's the road where you're getting all that road noise from. But we got a pretty wild tree there. So let me go show you a couple other things. Okay, so while this here has nothing to do with the battle itself, 
you can see that this uh, the Dykes Family Cemetery is six tenths of a mile north from here, so it would be down that road. But uh, you can see read a little bit of history of that, and so very interesting. Their son Lovick was the first one was buried there. There's 20 marked graves, it says. So that's what this marker is about. So just to show you where the, this sign is located. Just turn directly around 180 degrees, and that right there is the back of the monument that I just showed you on the last clip. All right, let me show you this other marker, and I'm told that it's about a school, but let's go look at it. All right, so this here is the other marker, and you can read about it, and you can see it's the site of the cost school, and you can pause all this and read it, but basically down here, it's going to tell you that this thing... Uh, opened up to 125 students on October 2nd of 1916 and then it uh, was finally kind of taken over by other schools and all that and moved and so in 1959 I think I read is that right next year the Costco was in Gonzales so yeah 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 it, school closes doors in May of 1959 it's uh it's right there so, but so this land right here, right behind this sign, this is where this school was located on this piece of, of ground right here. There's a trailer over there. But somewhere here, this school, this cost school, was here. All right, and just to show you from this sign, you see we're looking at it, I'm going to turn again 180 degrees almost. And right there. Again, is that is that memorial and just to show you the graves marker that I showed you is straight over there So this is this whole area and this is all about Texas independence So Gonzales is the birthplace. Let's go look at something else because this video is not over Okay, I drove down to the end of the road here. That was beyond You where I just showed you that um, about the graveyard so I figured I could see it down here, but so far I haven't seen it, but we're going to look here for a minute. But this is what you get to when you come down the end of the road. And you see up there is the Texas flag at the top, and right below it is the come and take it flag. So obviously a very famous flag that was born right here. And you can see that right here, this said here was fired the first gun for Texas independence, October 2nd, 1835, erected by the children of Gonzales. See, the school is April 21st of 1903. Now, this ain't no mile and a half, so to be honest with you, I don't believe that uh, this is not more than a half a mile or six-tenths of a mile or so down here. So, I don't see how this can be the actual spot where it was fired. But, boy, if it is, then uh, this would be very cool. This is where true independence was found. But uh, as far as that graveyard, I, I don't see anything about it anywhere around here. But we are going to take a, a quick look here and just see. So we'll, get, uh, we'll, we'll take this from the, from the back here so you can see that, what it looks like. And you see the flags up there blowing in a fairly good breeze. That's the back of the monument, and of course, and that's the road. Let me step over here. That's the road that we came down. That's where we, we came from, like I said, about six tenths of a mile up there. So, pretty cool. All right, so now I'm within a couple of miles of Gonzales, the current day town. And you can see here what this says. You can you can read it. But on, on this side, September 29, 1835, began the strategy of the 18 Texans, who by advising with Alcalde Andre Ponton, Held for two days, 150 Mexican dragoons sent to demand the Gonzales cannon, allowing colonists time to mass recruits for the Battle of Gonzales, the old 18. And that has their names down there, if you want to see all of those. And that was erected by the state of Texas in 1936. And you see over here, this marker, right beside it, on this side, September 29th, 1835, the Mexican government troops demanded the return of the Gonzales cannon. After two days' delay, awaiting recruits, the colonists answered, come and take it. And that too was erected in 1936. So there's your get out here just a little bit. There we go. There's your two markers right there. 
so according to this it all the the demand started here and then you can see of course it moved out to where we were which is four or five miles from here in that general direction that, that this camera is pointing at but you can see this great big field here so it was here where this whole skirmish thing and ideas and everything started so I, i'm just taking you to two of the most historic sacred spots besides the alamo in this state but this is in a sense bigger than the alamo because this is the literal start that then led to the alamo and then finally san jacinto in the end but this is it i'll just back up across this little road here and then you can see in a bigger view all that this is so there i'm across this little road here and i just pan out right there is the the modern day road is right in here you'll see a car come by right in there and then this big giant field so it was obviously somewhere in this field apparently where this first started and then there's a modern day thing the texas paddling trail is right down there let's go take a quick look at it all right so on my way down to the paddling trail ran across these little beauties they are little but they are beautiful let me get you as close as i can there that's not shadowing them all right hopefully you like those let's go on down all right so we are down here to the texas paddling trail this is the guadalupe river just outside of gonzales texas you see this big old tree limb here in this water it's crazy and they're putting in a boat over there and we'll just turn around here sadly towards the sun but that's what we'll do and you can see the river going down through there and, and then it curves around on that way so this is the guadalupe river here at the paddling trail where the sign is the highway is right there above us you can see and then there it is so pretty wide river and it's running running pretty good here i'll show you that right there pretty wild huh all right all right i just wanted to get this gonzella sign for you when you come into one side of town here right at the edge of independence park i think it's just a pretty cool looking sign i'm sure it's not historic or nothing like that but it still looks good you can see that right there all right so it's all these big stacked rocks to make it look old and seeing on this side is the same thing so even when you're leaving you can see that it's Gonzales of 1825 and there we go yeah you got the whole thing all right so let's go on and see what else we can find